What is up, fellow nerds, and welcome back to the Dapper Snapper Gaming Channel. Now, today we are going to be bringing back a series that we haven't visited in quite a while on the channel, actually, and that is going to be taking them down. And basically, what this series is about is to help you with team building and to help you to find mons to fit that last slot on your team that maybe can help you fill a role that you need um, and maybe counter a Pokemon that you're particularly weak to right now. And so that's basically what this is all about. It's to help you with team building and helping you to find that cohesive back end of team building. Because usually the first two or three are pretty easy to choose. It's that last three to really bring it all together. And this series is to help you find that last bit of glue. So I hope this is a, a benefit to you and I hope you guys enjoy it. And you know, I've got several other episodes already up and I plan on doing more of these in the future. So make sure to check all those out up in the iCard above. So today we're going to be talking about Clefable. Now Clefable is a very prominent mon in OU right now. It's got a very high usage uh, number right now. And we looked at this already in our State of the Meta address from a few days ago. And if you missed that, that will also be up in the iCard above. But basically this thing is way up there in the usage and for several reasons, right? So it's got Magic Guard Life Orb and this thing hits like a truck with Life Orb. It then doesn't take any damage from the life orb. Plus, now it can heal with soft boil now that home is back. So, yeah, this thing's really strong. Moonblast hits super hard. Of course, stab boosted. Flamethrower helps it hit steals. And then T-Bolt helps it hit just a bunch of other stuff. Like, it's it's crazy. You can't bring in bulky waters on it. It's, it's great. He, he's a very strong boy. But so we're going to talk about some potential counters for it today. And we're going to start with Excadrill. Now... Excadrill is of course like the staple of OU and has been since the game dropped and he's still good he's still absolutely amazing and if you look right here an iron head does a minimum of 88 percent it's crazy damage and of course this is one that is max HP so if you lose that HP investment then it's going to do more but yeah it's absolutely insane what this thing can do it, it absolutely breaks this thing. And so the thing is, even if you get that low roll and don't make your 31% chance, then you still have your Focus Sash. Now, this is the reason that I call this a check rather than a counter, is because if your Sash gets broken by rocks and you roll low, then this thing is going to kill you with Flamethrower. Um, yeah, if you've lost any health, basically, this thing's gonna kill you. So you do have to be careful. This isn't necessarily a counter, but I definitely would call it a check. And so you do need to watch out for that. So the next one is going to be Bisharp. Now Bisharp, I think, is a very much more viable option. And some of the biggest reasons are, one, Defiant. Gives it an immediate plus two boost if there's something like Sticky Web or something Defogs on it. It's absolutely amazing with, with that. It also gets access to Sword Stance, but you know what? It doesn't even need it against a Clefable. Against this same Clefable that's max HP, no defense, it absolutely okos it every time and that's even with jolly non-boosted doesn't need it it's gonna drop it's absolutely amazing how powerful this thing is and that life orb makes all the difference really and that's why excadrill doesn't do as much is because this thing is life orb so yeah it's it's pretty crazy what that 30 percent boost will actually do from the life orb so let's go ahead and move on and this is a mon that's gaining a ton of traction right now because sun teams are everywhere because some team sun teams are actually good now it's it's amazing seeing sun teams um we did feature a sun team very recently on the channel i'll throw that up in the i card above and venusaur absolutely went in and you guys seem to enjoy that battle so if you missed it make sure to check it out but yeah this thing gets growth and we can use weather ball now instead of hidden power fire hidden power fire was its preferred choice back then but now it can use Weather Ball, but it doesn't need it against a Clefable because we have an 81% chance to Oko a Clefable, and that's considering that we haven't used Growth yet. And this thing cannot Oko us back no matter how hard it tries. Yeah, you run Modest and you run Chlorophyll in the sun, you're going to win that exchange every single time. It's absolutely fantastic. This is what I would consider a counter. This thing's super strong, super great. Love seeing it on Sun Teams. It's fantastic. The next one is going to be Toxtricity. Now, Toxtricity is something that just recently left the OU tier, and it's very odd because he's been in the OU tier since its inception, 
but this past month he dropped down to UU. He's just kind of been losing his place, but he still has a spot. And if you run a Specs variant of Toxtricity rather than running the Throat Spray set, this thing switches in on you, expecting to live because you haven't throat sprayed up. Nope, he's gonna die. Sludge Wave is going to Oko it every time. Now, you could run, let's see, what if we run max special defense? Yeah, I mean, it's still a 50-50. I mean, that's pretty crazy. Of course, that's not with a careful nature or anything, but like, still, you do 91% to it and it can only do half to you back. This thing's super strong, it's super great. Of course, you can definitely run the, the Throat Spray set, but the thing is, if Clefable comes in on you, you're gonna have to click sw Sludge Wave, and that boost is going to be everything. So, I think that Specs is really good for Clefable, and so, I think it's something to think about. It gives you that plus one already, and you don't have to worry about wasting your item early in the game. That's the only thing about Throw Spray, is if you have to use it early, just for a coverage move, then you end up getting put in a weird position where now you have no item for the rest of the battle and it's kind of a waste but if you have specs then you're good for the whole battle it's pretty it's it's pretty good something to think about so the last boy we're going to look at is a mon that i have been absolutely loving this generation and this is a set that i think i haven't used it yet but i think could be pretty cool him being at base 108 speed is absolutely amazing in this gen and choice banded cobalion don't sleep on it it's a thing it's at least it should be uh you know i've been fighting for choice banded cinderace and i think now it's starting to be a really big thing i'm fighting for choice band cobalion now with quick attack let's go it's the only kind of priority that he gets but i still think it's pretty neat um, and it's also because he doesn't really get much great coverage outside of this you know he does get poison jab but iron head does the same thing um, as far as covering the fairies but the thing is with a choice band if you are jolly max attack you do exactly a hundred percent to this minimum it's pretty great now of course that is no defensive bulk but that is max hp you do exactly a hundred percent minimum and it's absolutely amazing i think it would be amazing to catch something off guard a clefable um, would come in on this expecting to live because typically you would be able to but you click that iron head and it drops it's absolutely amazing you know expecting to trade a bunch of hp just in order to kill you with iron with flamethrower no not gonna happen it's it's great and so and that's why i also used these to shy away from uh boosting up and that's because of unaware if you boost up unaware is not gonna care and so that's why I tended to shy away from anything that needed setup in order to win. So yeah, those are going to be some examples of Pokemon that you can use on your team in order to take down Clefable. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a comment down below if there are any other mods that you think are really great counters to Clefable or even checks, anything like that. I would love to read those and get to know you guys down in the comments below. But anyway, I will see you guys next week. And until then, bye-bye.